But I am literally shocked at the wait times right now. That's awesome. I love that summer is ending. Put all those little boogers back in school. Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, hi, I'm Bello Kevi. If you are not already subscribed, please do so because that would help me out a lot. So for this week's video, we are here at Universal Studios. It has been a minute since I've been back. Now uh, I've been uh, in the process of becoming a Disney cast member, so that's why I haven't been posting that much uh, lately. But we are here in Universal Studios to check out the Halloween Horror Nights updates and just have a really good time. So uh, no real agenda, just let's see what's let's see what's popping here at Universal Studios. Now with all of that said, let's head into the park and live our most magical life. Now this is literally the longest that I've ever gone without coming to Universal. It's been literally one month since I've been back here. That is wild. So just got to City Walk and I realized I made the biggest life mistake. I forgot my gimbal. I forgot my microphone, so if the um, audio and the stabilization is off, I apologize. Uh, I was working at Disney today, so I ran <clears throat> all the way to Disney and forgot my vlogging bag. So uh, I'm just shooting off the phone and we're gonna try our best to get uh, some footage because I kept trying to do this video for the past month, but I've been so like focused on, you know, trying to get all my uh, Disney ducks in a row before I start. But uh, I will try my best today. Also, another quick little disclaimer, this is gonna be my very first Halloween Horror Nights, so I don't know um, a lot about the event. So if I uh, mispronounce anything or give you guys uh, information that is not accurate, I apologize. But if you guys want like real good uh, details on everything Halloween Horror Nights, uh, go check out Lash TV. He is, in my mind, the king of Halloween Horror Nights. He has really great videos. Mine is very amateur. This is my very first one and I just want to come check it out. So uh, just a little little nugget of knowledge for you there. Go check out uh, Lash TV. It looks like Universal finally took down that Olympic sign that was in the middle. I couldn't stand that signage. It was so like, the colors were so ugly and I was like, I can't wait for this to go. When they had it up for Mardi Gras, I honestly didn't mind it, but this Olympic one was so it was such an eyesore for me. So I'm assuming they're gonna put up the um, Halloween Horror Nights one in the next coming week. I believe it starts September 3rd. And if I'm wrong, please roast me in the comments. All right, so here in the main entrance of Universal Studios, they have a lot of signage up for Halloween Horror Nights 30. I, the only thing I know is that uh, Jack the Ripper is like a really big deal. And I think he's like a Halloween Horror's icon, so. That's the only knowledge that I know that I can give you. Uh, so please feel free, please feel free to go into the comments and give me pro tips on Halloween Horror Nights and things that I should experience, things that I should stay away from because it's super helpful for me because this is going to be my very first Halloween Horror Nights. So uh, yeah, go drop those comments. To think that in just a couple, a couple of days really, we will be celebrating Halloween here in Florida. I know uh, Disney World is gonna be doing Mickey's Boo Bash, which I think already started by the time this video is up. Um, it's hot, it's so hot still. So it's like weird to be dressed in costume going to these events. It is devil, it, I feel like I am nestled in the devil's tits right now. That's how hot it is. Look at, look at the salt wet. Oof. Oh wow, the last time I was here, they had the Jurassic World Tribute Store open, and then that closed a couple weeks ago, but look how far along they've come with this brand new uh, Horror Nights Tribute Store. That is insane. 
and next to the tribute store by the mummy they have all these like prop stages where i guess they're gonna have like fear scared characters or scary monster people god i have no knowledge <laughs> but i guess this is where they're gonna be and they're gonna be hanging out here so uh that's interesting it's good to know i'm someone who does not like uh to be scared uh we used to have an event like this back in uh six flags in new jersey and it was a uh, fear fest and i went once and i don't think i've ever gone again i've always said yeah let's go back but never really was down to go i don't like being scared i'm more of the mickey's not so scary halloween party type of person but i of course will do this once for you guys so uh yeah i'm excited i guess all right, so walking towards uh, the Wizarding World, there is some spooky kooky dooky stuff happening here, guys. Look at that. Let's try to fix that for you. They have some banners up. They have uh, what looks like a little bit of scare zones. I think that's what they're called. If I'm wrong, again, roast me in the comments. But uh, look at this. Ooh. Very cool. So I guess this is where the main scarilation will be taking place because it seems like there's like a bunch of different types of scare zones or maybe meet and greets. I don't know. I don't know what they do here, but I'm very, very interested now. Look, they even got like a Christmas one. Works. So you can have like a spooky dooky Christmas. I like that. What else they got? They've got one with uh, some creepy crawlies back there. So I think that was uh, most of the Halloween Horror Nights stuff so far. I know they still have probably like two more weeks before everything is fully up. Now again, I don't want to sit here and pretend that I am the Halloween Horror Nights expert because I'm not. This is my very first and here on the channel, we're new. I'm new to Florida. I'm new to the theme parks and my thing is that we're going to do this together. We're going to learn. We're going to grow together there's still so much that I haven't done here so if you are someone who likes who who is an expert and enjoys Halloween Horror Nights or you know Disney resorts or whatever things that I haven't done uh, subscribe because who knows maybe it's your favorite and you enjoy watching people experience it for the first time so that's kind of like what I'm aiming for here on the channel so again go ahead and subscribe now it's been a while since we've been back to Universal Studios, so I think it's only appropriate if we go into Diagon Alley and, you know, just see what's popping over there. That's my favorite part of Universal Studios. So here we are inside Diagon Alley. Now today, I don't think I'm gonna be riding uh, Green Gotts Bank just because I'm not really in the mood to put my stuff in the locker and, uh, you know, I've done it so many times now that I'm kind of like desensitized to the actual ride itself. And I, if I'm going to be completely honest, I don't enjoy it as much as I used to. And waiting 30 minutes to me is not worth it. I think today we are definitely going to ride the Velocicoaster because that's something that still gives me that like, ooh. But I did just want to come into the Wizarding World because I love the ambiance of the Wizarding World. It really feels like otherworldly. Okay, so walking out of the Wizarding World towards the Simpsons area, I saw something that has completely triggered me because I have been terrified of this character as small as a goober. This thing really gives me like PTSD and I will share, share with you the story of why this scares me. The Chucky movies have always literally destroyed me as a kid and one time uh someone thought it would be funny when i was younger like uh seven uh decided to put the chucky doll but like the chucky where he had the staples in his face in my bed after i got out of the shower and that traumatized me to no return and i still to this day at least once a month will have a bad dream where the chucky doll is trying to either kill me or XYZ it's it's so triggering for me so whenever whenever I see the good guy doll I can't I cannot now here in the Simpsons area or the other side of the lagoon do they do like scary things on this side I'm not sure uh, it doesn't seem like they do because there are no like uh, stage props or lighting fixtures up I really 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 should have done my homework before coming here <laughs> 
Oh my god, this is the worst Halloween Horror Nights video ever. Well, I stand corrected because behind me there are some tents that kind of have the same setup as when they did Mardi Gras. So maybe they will be doing something on this side for Halloween Horror Nights. And actually, I'm seeing a lot more decorations over here. Oh my gosh, wow. Look at this. Yeah, so there are a few more things over on this side of the park. That's super exciting. So it feels like it's a full, full event because I thought it was only on that one little section there, but looks like they're gonna do it here too. That's, that's awesome. I wonder if they're actually gonna put anything down this way, down the uh, Hollywood Boulevard area. I guess we'll see. All right, so walking down the like Beverly Hills street, they do have uh, more stages. So it looks like they are going to be having uh, scare zones, I think, all through this area too, which is exciting. I thought, again, it was only going to be in that small little area. So that's super exciting. I'm actually looking forward to my first Halloween Horror Nights. This is really cool. It feels like this is like their main event, like uh, Christmas. She doesn't matter. St. Patrick's Day, who is she? Halloween is their go-to gal. Guys, it is ridiculously hot. I cannot stress this enough. When you come to the parks, make sure you drink lots of water because if you don't, you will be spread out on the floor needing like CPR and recovery. So drink lots of water. So I am pretty much done here at Universal. We're gonna head to Islands of Adventure because I am starving. I haven't had lunch and it is already uh, almost four o'clock, uh, which is basically dinner. And then we're gonna do some rides. Uh, definitely getting on the Velocicoaster and Hagrid's is always up in the air because you do need a uh, reservation for that. So I doubt we'll be able to do it, but uh, the who knows, maybe we'll get lucky. All right, so we made it into Islands of Adventure. Uh, walking here was a mistake. It is literally so hot. I should have taken the Hogwarts Express and it was only like a 30 minute wait, which it seems long, but at least it's air conditioned. But this is rough. It is so hot and I'm wearing all black because uh, I'm less than smart. It's, it's rough today, but um, I guess let's go have some fun. Now, school has officially begun for, uh, I guess, southern states, because up north, we start school in uh, September, but here they start in August, which is uh, great for me because most kids are back in school, so wait times shouldn't be that bad. Now, we're gonna head to the Velocicoaster area, but we're gonna cut through Seuss Landing and check out the wait times, and that'll kind of gauge us and see like, oh, maybe the kids are, back in school or maybe all those little uh, brats who live up north are here right now and if i am not making sense throughout this video it is because the sun has got me girl she has worn me out and i am going to pass out so at any moment i uh start slurring my words or talking real slow the, it was nice knowing you gal well oh, it's happening <laughs> walking through seuss landing i honestly feel so bad for the team members because it seems like their uniform is, or costume, I'm not sure what they call it, is long pants and a uh, shorts, like the short sleeve button up. God, and they all look so hot, Jesus. It's not cute. Mama, I thought I was dying. Thing one, thing two, and the Grinch are out here. Ed. Ciao. A great sign is that everything here in Seuss Landing is a five minute wait. So kind of hot is usually five minutes, but the up, up in the way uh, trolley, I always get that wrong, is only five minutes. So in the peak of summer, that was at a 35 minute wait. So that's really, that's a really great sign. So let's head uh, into the Wizarding World and check out the rest of uh, Islands of Adventure. Also, ladies, if you are someone who wears makeup and is coming to the park during like July, August, September, Mama, don't even bother because you will sweat it out within the probably the first three hours because it is so hot. So uh, save your products, save your Anastasia Beverly Hill cosmetics, save your NYX foundations, all of that because you do not want to wear that 
here in the parks. It is way too hot. So when you're here in the Lost Continent, you have the option now to cut straight into, uh, sorry, cut straight into like the Velocicoaster entrance or keep going straight into uh, Hogsmeade. We're gonna go straight into Hogsmeade today, but usually I do take that little side path because it just gets you there quicker. But I haven't been here in a while and I do wanna see what Hogsmeade is looking like. It's been about a month, so I need that like, that fix. Okay, so here we are in Hogsmeade and it says that Hagrid's motorbike adventure is a 55 minute wait. Now I'm gonna go ask and see if I can just jump on and if not, yeah, we'll just move on. But I really, I haven't done this since like early summer. So uh, let's go see, I'm so excited. All right, so for the first time in over like two months, Hagrid's is not a virtual queue. I haven't done this in so long and I don't care if this was a three hour wait, I was going to do it because I haven't done this in so long. I'm so excited. And when I was walking to put my stuff in a locker, I bumped into the wall because I wasn't paying attention. And one of the team members were like, uh, do you need medical assistance? And I have never been so embarrassed in my life. So uh, let's go. So I just got off of Hagrid's motorbike adventure. That was the first time I can actually get like full footage thanks to the GoPro. I hope it came out beautiful. I, I guess we'll see. And that was my first time riding front row. Oh my God. If you ever ride Hagrid's, try to get front row because it is the best experience ever. So uh, I'm just, I'm really excited. This has turned out to be one of the best times I've ever had here at Universal Studios. And next, I think we're gonna head to the Velocicoaster because we still got time, so let's go. So you can definitely notice like the shift in crowd because usually, sorry, let me fix that. Usually it is crazy madhouse by the butterbeer around this time, but because school has started again, it's not as bad. So um, I think the best times to come to Universal Studios is like February because mm, ain't nobody here. And then I would say end of August, literally. It's like not too bad. Like for me to be able to just walk on to Hagrid's, well not walk on, but not have to have a virtual queue is, is pretty good. So um, we're gonna head to the Velocicoaster, check out the wait time there, and then uh, hopefully we can get on. If it's no more than 55 minutes, I'll do it. Cause that's like usual wait time. So real quick, Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey back here is a 15 minute wait that is wild last time i was here it was 75 minutes that was uh in the beginning of july i believe so <laughs> it's a great time to come to universal studios 
here in Jurassic Park, the Velocicoaster has a delay. So we're gonna circle around and then maybe come back to it later. Um, if we don't get to ride it today, I'm completely content with that because we did get to do Hagrid's and I haven't done that in months. So I'm very pleased with my trip here to Universal Studios. And Jurassic Park River Adventure is only 10 minutes. Today is a fantastic day to be here at Universal Studios. I am very pleased. Here in the King Kong uh, little area, as soon as you enter Toon Lagoon, it's only 15 minutes. That's so good. I'm literally shocked at the wait times right now. That's awesome. I love that summer is ending. Put all those little boogers back in school. One thing we've never done on the channel is do the Dudley Do ride. Uh, this is Tony's favorite ride, so um, I think maybe in the next week or two, maybe we can jump on because it does uh, close during the winter for refurbishment. So I definitely want to get that for you before that happens. So hopefully within the next two weeks, I have a day off from uh, Disney <laughs> and then we can be able to ride it. All right, friends, so that is a wrap for this week's video. I had so much fun running around Universal Studios. It's been a really long time. I am very excited for Halloween Horror Nights to experience it for the very first time. And if you guys want more information about Halloween Horror Nights, I highly recommend checking out Lash TV again because he is the king of Halloween in my opinion, and you can figure out or learn whatever you need to know about Halloween Horror Nights. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also turn on that bell notification so you get notified whenever I post a brand new video. As always, I love you for watching and I can't wait to see you again. Bye. Hey there friend, just because the video's over doesn't mean the magic has to end. Click here or here to keep living your most magical life. And don't forget to subscribe.